stolen. You forgot already, did you? I have to tell you again? Jesus Christ. I, I try to remember, but it's the guy that did. Well, I might as well tell you again. I've got nothing better to do. Seems like all I ever do is tell you things, so you forget them again, so I have to tell you again. I try to remember, I promise, but it does, that's no good. I remember the rabbits though, George. All you ever remember is the rabbits. To hell with the rabbits. What you got there? Nothing. Give it here. I ain't got nothing, George. What is it? It's only a mouse. A live one? Uh-oh, it, it's dead. And I didn't kill it, I, I found it dead. Give it here. as I was walking along. But you're not going to be petting it no more. We're going to a ranch, like the one we worked in in Weed. But you're not going to say anything, you're just going to stand there. Just down. In section one, it sets the scene and shows us what we presume are the main characters. Now, Lenny is very childish and obviously looks up to George. Who is in charge? George? Yes? Can I have my mouth? Yay! This means that they're very dependent on, on each other, which is very unusual in the 1930s. So this means that there might be something wrong, there might be um, something that would go wrong with them in this new ranch. George? Yes? I think I killed the mouse. I'll be here in a minute. Get the stable back help when he's calling his YouTube one here this morning. Get the stable back help? Yeah, stable back's an eager. Not as bad though. Got a horse kicking his back, that's why he's got a crooked back. He gets beat up when he's <coughs> mad. The boss alright? He is not still. He gets pretty mad sometimes though. <coughs> Them guys just come. What's your name? George Milton. And yours? His name Lenny Small. He ain't much of a talker. No, but he's strong as a bull. So, say what you try to pull over. You taking his pay? No, sir. Well, don't you try and put anything over. I'm watching you. Say, so, you the new guys? Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Let the big guy talk. I suppose you don't want to talk. Christ, you gotta talk when you're supposed to. We travel together. So it's like that. It's that way. Yeah, it's that way. Well, next time you answer when you're supposed to. Christ, what's he doing? He didn't do nothing to him. He's a small guy, always scrappy. Sick. You got a new wife, married two weeks ago. Five, the main event that happens is that Lenny kills Curly's wife, and but beforehand they have a conversation. We start to see a completely different side of her. We realise that just like the others, she also has dreams and aspirations, but they're never going to come true. We start to feel quite sorry for her because she appears really lonely and nobody talks to her. But after her death, we realise that Lenny isn't quite as dumb as he appears because he knows that he has to hide her body so that people won't find her, and we also know that he remembers to go to the brush where George told him to. Curly appears very heartless in this scene, as he doesn't seem to care about his wife at all. All he cares about is going out to shoot Lenny. And Carlson as well, all he cares about is that Lenny might have his luger. Slim, on the other hand, he's very understanding, and he really helps George, because he helps him realise that they have to catch him, that he wouldn't be any good just to be locked up. 